Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will go through a few more practice questions for Tableau Desktop Specialist exam. So let's start. Question one. So dash files are shortcuts for quickly connecting to the original data that you use often. Data source files do not contain the actual data, but rather the information necessary to connect to the actual data as well as any modifications you have made on top of the actual data such as changing default properties creating calculated fields adding groups and so on so it's asking basically uh, which file extension would represent um, a tableau file which would not have data right so here they have clearly mentioned do not contain the actual data so only the information right connection information if you have changed any default properties or created any calculated fields or added groups and so on so all those informations if you do so which type of file would have that so the answer to this is dot tds right and uh, to check on that you can refer this tableau help tableau file types and folders here you should read each type of file what it represents and what it contains like dot dwb dot tbm dot twbx dot hyper dot tds dot tdsx right so here currently we are referring to dot tds which is like you know data source files are shortcuts for quickly connecting to the original data that you use often data source files do not contain the actual data that's what it is mentioned but rather the information necessary to connect to the actual data as well as any modifications you have made on top of the actual data such as changing default properties creating calculated fields adding groups and so on so this is the question right this is what is mentioned here so that is what dot tds is so it could be anything uh, which can come in exam it could be this this or this right so better better uh, go through it and by heart it right this is something which you need to remember okay okay so let's go to next question dash charts are typically used to represent accumulated totals over time and are the convention way to display stacked lines right so definitely it cannot be bullet chart or gantt chart right accumulated totals so sometimes as uh, mostly people use you know area chart i would say for accumulated totals over time as well as display stacked lines and uh, this you can see um, on tableau help create an area chart okay and here if you see an area chart is a line chart where the area between the line and the axis are shaded with a color these charts are typically used to represent accumulated totals over time and are the conventional way to display stacked lines okay so this is what area chart does right so that is something which is the answer okay so i'm going by tableau help line only so yeah follow that so third is true or false the number of marks will increase when you increase the number of dimensions in a view okay so let's quickly make a view let's say if i make category and uh, sales right now here if you see there are three marks right three marks currently so what they are saying number of marks will increase when you increase the number of dimensions okay so let me increase the number of dimension let's say i bring in subcategory also over here so you see that marks have increased now it is 17 marks earlier it was three marks the moment you bring in any other dimension the marks have increased right so the answer is true definitely it will increase the number of marks right and uh, you can go here in tableau help right and uh, there's this topic dimension and measures this is a very uh, good article or help section which you should definitely refer and 
uh, read all the topics here okay and there is this topic how dimensions affect the level of detail okay whatever i have shown you it's already mentioned over here okay how the dimensions affect the level of detail in the view okay so just read this okay thoroughly then next question which of the following fields would be best used as dimensions okay dimensions are nothing but qualitative fields right basically discrete in nature so sales and profit definitely are continuous in nature so they are measures they are definitely not dimensions categories is definitely a dimension names yes definitely a dimension right because these two are like uh, qualitative in nature you can have discrete values right so these two are the answers now how can you change the default tableau repository location okay for that i'll just show you tableau help so they have mentioned they are changing the repository location so you have to select the file and go to repository location and then you can select a new folder to create it as a new repository location right so yeah here this is the first one by clicking on file and then repository location and then choosing a new location okay now when using animations in a tableau sheet tableau sheet okay which of the following is the default duration for animations okay so again i will take you to tableau help yeah, this is uh, there is this topic called as format animations you can just read through this article and then if you go to this animate visualizations in a workbook so there if you see on this animations pane there's this selected sheet right for sheet the animation if you see the default one so default one is the 0.3 seconds right that is what they have asked default duration that is 0.3 seconds for a tableau sheet okay this is for a sheet for workbook it is it would be different okay so that you should uh, read the question first okay then how can you format numbers in tableau as currency okay so basically uh, whatever field you have in a tableau like if it's a number and you want it as a currency so how do you do it let's say go here uh, format numbers and null values you know format a measure as currency right if you want to do you can just click right click on the axis or you can right click on the pill right just go to format and once you are in the format in the axis pane you can change it to the currency from numbers right so yes which one would it be definitely not a dimension not sheet name not data source it will be a right click on a measure or axis okay so first one right this is what we saw so just read through this format one and now you can format null values also you can read right so just understand these all these subtopics then when exporting a worksheet as an image in tableau which of the following file formats are available again let's go to tableau help uh, here we have export views from tableau desktop to another application right yeah so just go here there's this export a view as an image file that is what they are asking exporting right while like when exporting so when you export uh, you can choose bmp jpg png or svg right these are the options available so png jpg and bmp this tagged image file format is not available when you use export right so that would be the answer i mean that would be the exclusion remaining three would be the answer right so next question is which of the following is not a new feature introduced in tableau 2020.1 okay so come here and uh, you can search tableau 2020.1 okay so this one okay so, and then click on view all tableau features okay which will take you to here tableau 2020.1 right now what they are saying buffer calculations 
buffer calculations is there set control set control no, i don't see that okay visualization animations which yeah which animations is there dynamic parameters yes this was the key highlight yep so this is there so definitely set control is the answer and if you want to see when was it released i can just search here set control 2020.2 okay so one version higher than this okay last question when you drop a continuous field on color tableau displays a quantitative legend with a dash range of colors so they are talking about continuous field right so continuous field will always display a quantitative legend with a continuous range of colors right so that is the answer if you want you can refer this color palettes uh, help here you have quantitative palettes right so here if you see tableau displays a quantitative legend with a continuous range of colors so that is the answer so that's it guys thank you and have a good day bye